This tip is for command line junkies everywhere. Basically, there are several ways to launch a command prompt from D72 depending on where you are and what you need it for. The first option occurs if you have the shell extensions installed, which you can automatically configure to install here, of course. And what that gives you access to is if you right click on a file or folder and move to the extensions-action section, you'll see the second option is command prompt here. And that will open up a command prompt wherever you are in whatever directory you are. There is one small side effect from this, and it will say the directory name is invalid at the top of the console window. That's just a little quirk about the way that I'm performing those operations. Next we have the Run menu. And in the Run menu we have our final three options, and I'm not going to cover them in order because I have a favorite and it's not the last one. So first, let's use Command Prompt by itself, and that just opens up an Administrator Command Prompt. Now it is Administrator, so you don't have to worry about UAC restrictions with this Command Prompt. Close that. Our next option I will skip, and the last option is Command Prompt Run as System. Running anything under the system account basically bypasses local file system permissions and registry permissions. So if you're having trouble deleting a file or regist registry entry or even seeing the registry entry, you can launch a command prompt as system and perform those operations from there. Just to show you briefly one of the advantages of running as system and what I'm talking about by bypassing permissions is if you were to run regedit from a system access command prompt, you actually have access to see the SAM key, which is normally restricted, even from an administrator. So you can browse, hit the SAM, etc. And this will give you access to other various reg keys and settings here and there. Also, it may help you in deleting some undeletable keys or settings. We'll just close that window, and just to give you the contrast, let me just do regedit from the run menu. So you see the UAC prompt, so you know I'm doing yes and I'm running as administrator. The same SAM key, you can't see. There's no values here because you don't have system access, you only have administrator access. So that is sort of the difference of running something in system. And finally, we have my favorite command line option, and that is command prompt browse for directory. This will allow your command line junkies to basically browse for whatever directory they wish to start the command prompt in, and there it is. No more CD space, quote, directory space, name, quote, or push D to get to a directory. So you can save yourself a bit of typing and only perform the commands that you're actually there to perform. I hope this video has been helpful and informative. Thanks for watching.